the soul has spent his entire life in my devotional service. Is he now ready to come back to me? My dear Lord, under your instructions, I have been executing the task of testing the sincerity of souls. Regarding this, sir, let me check and confirm that to you. so that he gets a chance to remember me in his next life as well. This soul 
has been provided with core material facilities, but he does not take this chance seriously to surrender unto you. Since this soul has served me so sincerely in the previous life, I still love him and want to show special favor to him. When a man is deprived of his wealth, his relatives abandon him, and in this way, he suffers one misery after another. But due to his previous devotional credits, he will definitely come to me. I will wait for that moment.
got a new lifetime after lifetime you have enjoyed living this material world but i always waited for you to come back to me you have suffered disease broken hearts sometimes you have enjoyed prosperity higher education wealth but eventually you lost everything i know how difficult it was for you to talk to me but today you have done it you have been criticized when you took up this path of devotional service but you never gave up and today you have completed the journey home i welcome you to your home
and the food there was so tasty. I got breakfast, lunch, dinner also. <laughs> Five years in jail. You are rising up the ranks, my friend. Guru, Guru, look at this. I have robbed this beautiful jewel. One second. Let me see. Let me see. Wonderful. What came up? Staying in the jail and eating their food. Your eyesight has gone bad. We should throw this in the bin. In the bin? No, no. Ah. Ah. That was harsh, partner. So what do you suggest then? For generations, our forefathers have been thieves. We have been robbing and pillaging. But look at us, petty poor people that we are. Time has come for us to change our destiny. You are right. Even my wife is demanding a golden necklace. You are right. Look at poor me. I have two wives and one daughter. Are Guru? Oh, sorry. One wife and two daughters. And they are very demanding. But now, we have to do something that we have never done before. We have to rob more people. My hand is itching. Something wonderful is about to happen. So what do you suggest then? We must do what all intelligent people do. We must plan. Ha! Thank you. 
Yeah. I'm really scared. I got caught. Thankfully. Yeah. What about the other one now? He went in the direction where there is a temple. So he may go there, I'm not too sure. But what he can do is, we can go to the temple. And I think they have a Bhagavad Katha class going on right now. Bhagavad Katha? Wow! Yeah? In the morning? This is a nice time for Bhagavad Katha Prabhu. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking let's go there. And uh, listen to the Katha. And wait there while we calm down, you know? Can you look at you? Yes. I'm really, really tense. Would that be? Listen to Bhagavad Gita? Highly unlikely. Highly. But. But, uh, I mean, we can't like sitting there, you know? Look at you, you're looking so worried and anxious. Yes, I am. Yeah? So that he is going to enter the Krishna temple. I'm going to listen to Agadam Katha. Wow, indeed, it's really a nice opportunity, Prabhu, for us also to sit and listen to Bhagavatam Katha. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Let's head towards the temple and by the time they have set up the Katha, maybe we'll reach over there. Sure. And I think it's this way to the temple. And I, then no, this is a shorter cut. Yeah, I, let's go this way, yeah. Yeah, the lights around is about to come. Shall Have we? you got enough donations? Uh, I've got my credit card. Uh -huh. I think you're happy with that, yeah? Very. Those ancient soldiers are here. Let me hide amongst these wonderful people. My dear proud devotees, forever dwell with me and are always interested in conversing with each other and enlightening each other about me. It is so nice to have all of you here. Let us now read from Srimad Bhagavatam. The verse of today, Kasturi Tilakam. Oh, Kasturi Tilakam. Vakshas Tale Kaustabam. Nasagare Navatpavanikam Kartali Venu Kare Kankanam Mother Yashoda forever describes the transcendental yoga of Krishna. She decorates him with the best ornaments, sapphires, rubies, emeralds, necklaces, bracelets, anklets. In fact, the light of the day pales before the opulence of Krishna. You are out of your mind. 
You only must have gotten your eyes. No, no, no. Thief in a temple? That is a thief. That is not yeah. possible. This is the Kali Yuga where you have soldiers coming to the temple with weapons. What are you both doing here? He, he let me here. Uh, I have nothing to do with you. What did I do? You only let me have it. Before I cross you on Janmashtami, get out of here. Get out of here now. Didn't even leave any darshana. What time the soldiers are these? Are they checking? Yes, yes. Krishna is so kind that he gives all the wealth in the world if one asks. His dear friend Sudama just asked him for... Didn't even ask him anything and gave him a few grains of chick rice. And Krishna gave him huge palaces and jewels and necklaces. Anyway, that's the end of our Bhagavatam class. Sorry for the interruption from our military. But please, don't forget to take prasadam. But even before that, don't forget to leave Dakshina here. Grantrakshima Bhagavatam K. What an amazing talk! Can you hear that? There is a boy who goes alone in the jungle every day wearing ornaments. <laughs> Fools just want to fill their bellies, but I shall fill my pockets. Looks like this pundit knows something. Let me ask him. Panditji, Panditji, please tell me more about that uh, little boy. Who are you? Which little boy? You know, the little boy. Where does he live? The one you were describing. You mean Krishna? Look, look, don't worry. It's very difficult to find him. Ah! Looks like no matter how decent I be, people do not respond. Time to show my real form. Ah! Is that real? Yes. Who, who the hell are you? Where have you come here? I am Daku Bhagat Singh. Daku Bhagat Singh? Do you have a sister called Fulan as well? Ah. Let's not go And I demand to know about that boy. Uh, look, that boy, you shouldn't entertain thoughts of him. It's, like I said, it's very, very difficult to find him. Who is that person trying to enter? No, no, please. Please don't know my father. Please, don't. I will tell you about Krishna. Very good. He is a supreme personality of Godhead. He is a supreme controller. He is all pervading. Unlimited universes take birth with his plans. The sun and moon are his eyes, and these infinite stars we see in the sky are the birds in his neck. He resides in his eternal abode, Golaka Vrindavan. He you breath! Enough of this universal form of this God of yours. I am not interested in this Supreme God. Listen, listen, listen. Let's, let's uh, talk in a more sane and civilized manner. After all, you're in a temple on Janmashtami then. Look, what do you want to know about this man? I want to know a lot about this boy. Well, what, what really has attracted you to him? Well, that amazing wealth that he has possessed. Yes, Krishna is, a, like I said, Krishna is adorned with rubies, sapphires, emeralds, necklaces, bracelets, and anchors. What are the value of those ornaments? Oh, in these times of economic recession, that's a very pertinent question. All the wealth in the world can't compare to the wealth of Krishna's body. <laughs> yes! I knew my hand was itching for a reason. But if you want to know more about him, quick! He, he has many other names. In fact, he has unlimited names. He is known as Govinda, Chamasunda, Gopal, Keshav, Kanaya. Uh, his mother's name is Yashoda and his father's name is Nanda Baba. So much information! I never went to school! How do I remember this boy? Simply meditate on his name and his features and you will find him. Ah! Meditation! Little boy, 
peacock feather with a golden fruit. Quick, tell me, where can I find him? Look, I know generally people like you live west to in Chambal, but you've got to go north towards Vrindavan. In the land of Vrindavan, you'll find the Yamuna River. On the banks of the Yamuna River, you'll find Golden Hill. Near Govardhan Hill, there are the forests of Vrindavan, like Kamnevan, Nirivan, Madhuvan. And in those forests, you will see chirping birds and raising cows. And Krishna will be playing his flute and attracting their attention, especially those cows. That's where you will find him. He goes there every day. <laughs> oh my dear Pandit, you have given me an aim in my life. I shall leave now. You know, you should leave immediately. Oh, Pandit! You mentioned oh, about, why have you come here again? You mentioned about that boy who gave a little chip rice. I can afford some chip rice. Oh, Sudama. Will Krishna give me a palace? Krishna will give you everything you want. But remember, it's very, very difficult to find him. Look, at the end of the day, both, we have one thing in common. Time is money for you and time is money for me. Ha! You better go to Vrindavan, I, I should go to my next Bhagavatam class to collect some Dakshina. Alright, Pandit. Off we go. Understand it with the help of our scriptures. I'm sure you have heard the story of Kaku Yes, yes. Um, yes, yes. Kaku Ratnakar, he is a, he is a great poet who, under the instruction of Narad Muni, got to be known as Great Saint Almighty. He is the one who has written Ramayana. Yeah, absolutely. And as you know, uh, in Bhagavad uh, Gita, Sri Krishna says, in the line, do you remember the one I'm talking about? Yes. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. It means that even if one performs the most abominable sin, but with the end of devotional service, he attends perfection because he is situated in perfect. Absolutely. And now you have seen the dark side of the thing. Now, want to see what happens next? Yes, yes. He has a bright side too. Blue boy, peacock feather, golden flute. Little boy, peacock feather, golden flute. Oh, when will that golden flute become mine? Oh, when will the gods smile upon me? The monsoon season has passed away, and I don't know where is north. Which direction is north? Luckily, I found four families and I robbed one of them of ship rice. So the palace is ashore. Now I must find my direction. Oh, look there. A fellow traveler and well dressed. Surely he knows where Krishna is. Ha ha! You are alone in this jungle. Tell me now. Where I can find the north. She is very good at giving directions. So why don't you ask her? Ha <laughs> Tell me the way to north. Sure, sure, sure. We will take away that water. Please. Um, um, if you go straight to the north, and can you see a big hill full of a dense forest? Yes. That for showing the directions. Otherwise, I was going to take that necklace. But I'll let you go. 
that's where you need to go. That's where you will find Krishna. You want to see this song? Yes. Whenever I hear the word Yamuna, my heart goes in ecstasy. Yamuna Pira Vana Chari Jaira Yamuna Chira Vanachari, I must get Kunja Bihari. Yes. My dear Pandit, finally the direction of my life is now clear. The mission is near. My vision is here. Not a moment to waste. Time to make haste. Off to Vrindava. Hang on. Wait a minute. Can you please do me a favor? A favor? Well, you showed me the way to Vrindavan, so I can definitely do a small favor for you. Thank you very much. I have... This is a mango from the very first season of this year. I've grown and planted it only to give it to Lord Krishna. Now, since we are already on the way, May I ask a favor, if you can please offer it to my Lord. Offer a mango to Krishna? Sure. If it lasts the distance, I will. Mango is such a beautiful. You know, let me tell you a story. Are you going to break into another song? Ah, uh, no. This time it's not a song. It's actually a story. A story from Dwapariya. One of the pastimes which Krishna played. It's a story of an old woman who lived on the banks of River Yamuna. She was an ordinary food seller. One fine day, she came and knocked the door of Nanda Maharaj. And you know what happened? Uh, she found some chair? Krishna, the little Krishna, gave him two ounces of rice and with just that the fruit seller gave an entire basket of fruits and you know what what happened after that uh, no, please tell me after that the entire basket of fruit turned into precious jewel jewels that are so costly that the entire world universe wealth can be part of it this my dear Sadhu, with this mango and this chip rice, I'm gonna take all the world off to Vrindavan. Wow, what a devotee he is. Just by listening to one pastime of Lord Krishna, he became so ecstatic. He is on his way to Vrindavan. Let us all pray for him. Let me pray to my Lord. That, oh Lord, please, please bless him that he achieves his goal. Now, I must finish my rounds. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Hare. And summer is here. And finally I see this wonderful Yamuna. I search for that little boy with a peacock fur and a golden fruit. Little boy with a peacock feather and a golden fruit. What a beautiful vision of Krishna. Oh, what am I doing? I need oh, thank you, my dear. I need to remember my actual mission. I need to find my wealth. I cannot find my wife. Yamuna Dira Manachari. But where is Kunja Bihari? I must find him. Ah, the Pandit that said that there will always be cows grazing where I can find Krishna. Look there, such beautiful cows. My dear cows, where is your cow herd? Oh, oh go away, cows. Good glass there, good glass there, go away. Even the cows are 
stop crumpling me. Oh, will I ever find that wonderful Krishna? Krishna, will I? Kothai Krishna, Kothai. I can see young kids playing. I can see families happy. But I can't find that Krishna. When will that Krishna come in front of my house? What was that? Catch Govinda? That was one of the names of Krishna. Catch Govinda! It's the sign of gods. Ha Govinda! I have caught you. No, no screaming can help you now. You two little boys. I have caught this Govinda. Where is the necklace? Look there, I can see a dance troupe. 
Surely, I have heard that Krishna is always there. Where his devotees are dancing. My friend, you look to be very tired. Why don't you come to my place and take rest? Oh, although it's very hot, I cannot take rest until I find Krishna. Off I go. music. 
Oh my dear friend, who are you? The one I've been searching for, Krishna. Krishna, is it you? Are you finally here in front of me? Where are you, Krishna? Where are you? Do you really want to see me? Yes, yes, Krishna. I want to see you in your entire form, especially with the necklace. Where are you, oh dear Krishna? I'm just behind you. Behind me? Where are you, Krishna? I can't see you anymore. I'm here. Krishna. This little boy, the peacock feather and flute is so beautiful. I can just live my life. Looking at you. What am I doing? Bhagat, get with the program, don't become a bug. You are a Daku. I must take away what I have come for. <coughs> uh, my sweet little boy, you are alone in this midnight, in this dark, deep jungle, with such heavy, heavy ornaments. Let us do one thing. There are many dangerous thieves here. Give your necklace and your jewelry to me. I will keep it safe. I promise. No, no way. These are given to me by Yashoda the Mayor. She will beat me. She will tie me. I will not give you these. You little naughty boy. If you shall not give me the necklace, then I shall take it. <laughs> ah. This kid is very fast. He disappears the moment I come close. But I know what to do. I shall use my renowned tactics of this sweet axe. Krishna! <laughs> Either you give me these jewels willingly, or I shall forcefully <laughs> take them from you. The choice is yours. I was so tired. Ha <laughs> ha! Who needs the axe? Now the time has come for my goal. I should start with those two anklets and take a necklace in the crown. Here I come, Mr. Rich. Oh my 
Hare Krishna. I no longer wish to take anything from you. Are you sure you don't want to No, my dear Krishna. Now all I wish to do is look at your divine vision for every moment. Alas, Krishna, I am just a petty little thief, poor. I do not bring anything for you. Don't lie. Don't lie. Why is Krishna calling me a liar? Oh, I remember. My dear Krishna, I had this little old chip rice. This is the only thing I can offer. Kindly take this. It's very tasty, but something else is missing. Something is missing? Oh, what have I done? Proof that I am. What else have I stolen? Ah, I remember. My dear Krishna, a wonderful sadhu. Who always meditates on me. Gave me this wonderful mango. This is the first mango. Kindly accept this as well. Mango, my favorite. My dear Krishna, I you enjoy this program. May I ask you a question? Many great sages, sadhus and saints have been studying deeply about your wonderful knowledge. But even then, they do not get the pleasure of your divine Yes, somehow or the other, by your countless mercy, you have given me this opportunity why, Krishna? I am just a pathetic little thief. Did you know I'm also a thief? My devotees call me a butter thief. Oh no, my dear Krishna. But I, I am a very bad person. My mother said I'm not a good But Krishna, I am a cheater. Oh my dear Krishna, I am such a terrible person that I steal other people's wealth. I steal the heart of my devotees. My father, my mother, my daddy, my Oh my dear Krishna, I do not know about becoming a devotee, but you have definitely taken this rock heart and melted it down like butter and stolen it. Oh my dear Krishna, you look so beautiful in this form. May you always stand in front of me. You look so big. Don't you want to have some mango chips rice? Oh no, my dear Krishna. I do not wish to take anything from you. I simply want to look at you. Oh no, my dear Krishna, 
I do not wish to, to take your necklace, please. Please take it. I have no other problem at all. Oh, my dear Krishna, if it is your desire, then I will definitely take this necklace as Mahaprasad and I will share with everybody that I meet. Uh, but Krishna, did you tell me that if I took your necklace, that Mother Yashoda would beat you? Do not leave me with great difficulty. I have got your wonderful gift. Dear friend, we will, I will come here every day for grazing my cows. I will see you tomorrow. I'm going. <laughs> Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Mahaprasad. Hey. Prabhuji, I'm just baffled. I'm thinking I'm your relishing mango. Mahaprasad. Mahaprasad ki? Hey. What are you worried about? A thief getting a darshan of the most supreme personality of Godhead Krishna? How can one understand this? We can understand it with the help of our scriptures. I'm sure you've heard of the story of Nagar. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I'm forgetting the line. Do you know what it says? Yes, yes. Yeah, I think it's coming to me. Api te sukura charo, babispe ma mandipa. I can't come, can't break it properly. Yeah. Yeah. It means if one is engaged in the most abominable. Absolutely. And with a dint of devotional service, he can attain perfection because. He is situated perfectly. Absolutely. And now there's an interesting twist to the story. So far you have seen the dark side of the thief. Now there is about transformation about to happen. And we will see a very, very bright side of the thief. Would you like to find out how that happens? Yes. I'm very, very interested now. Let's go and watch. Krishna. Oh Krishna, you have gone away from my vision again. But simply by touching this necklace, it reminds me of your beautiful form and fills my heart with joy. Surely I must share this joy with the very first person who showed me your vision, who gave me the aim of my life. Oh dear Panditji, here I come. Like you saw Krishna. Yes, Panditji, I did. Look, 
I have been in this temple for 45 years and I haven't seen Krishna and a thief like you saw Krishna. Anyway, thieves like you are habitual liars, so why should I trust you? No, 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 Pandaji. Why is, is the Pandaji not trusting me? No, no, no. We look, uh, Vrindavan in the midst of its uh, worst ever heat wave, it's 48 degrees. Celsius there, so if you've been roaming around there and thinking you imagining that you've been seeing Krishna, I can understand. No, no, Pandiji, I can imagine. Pandiji, look at this Mahaprasad that Krishna personally put in my hand. Krishna put in your hand? Wow, this is exactly as it's described in the scriptures. Where did you get it? as you had described my dear Pandit through your words in the Govardhan hill near the Yamuna river in the dense forest I saw Krishna amongst his devotees and his cows and he gave it to me uh, Dr. Bhagat, if you don't mind can you show me Krishna too? Yes Pandiji definitely please come with me this way Forest. And it is in this beautiful place that Krishna promised me that he will meet us every single day. Okay. Where is Krishna now? I can't hear anything. This out of what music? Can you not hear it? Look, it's very hot and the heat from you again. I can't hear anything. Which music? I can't hear anything. All I can hear is the chirping of the birds in some cows. Oh Krishna, why is it that this beautiful pundit, this wonderful pundit, who describes you so wonderfully, not able to hear you? I know. Krishna, Krishna, please come before this pundit. Show him your real form. Krishna, where are you? Where are you? I'm just behind you. Behind me? Yeah. Why are you dancing around that too? Show me Krishna. I, I, I'm just behind you. Behind me? I, I'm just behind you. Behind me? Are you playing with yourself? I can hear Krishna. He says that he's here, but, but I cannot see Krishna. Krishna, please come before me. Look, look Pandaji, look at this beautiful form as you have described of Krishna with his yellow garment, his peacock feather and his beautiful golden fruit. All I can see is those cows in the background and some trees. Have you lost your head? What is going on? No, maybe you need to go back to Shambhal again. No, no Pandaji, please trust me, I am not lying. Oh Krishna, what amazing illusion is this? Am I going crazy? I can see you, but why is this wonderful country not able to see you? He cannot see you, he can see the great scholar, but he has no faith in you. Please hold his hand so he would be able to see me. Pandaji, Krishna has given us an idea. Please take my hand. And why are this connection? Oh, now I can see Krishna. Hey, you thief, you show me the Lord. Oh, Krishna, please accept my obeisances. I'm about to leave my body.